All right, guys, and welcome to S one E sixty five. Today is a lot of one point four prep. Like that's all I've been doing, and I want to apologize for not having an episode up on Sunday. Um, I'm very anal, for lack of a better word, about getting a episode, a let's play episode up every other day, and I try, I very rarely miss it, so I do apologize for that. That was not what I wanted to do, but I was just... I'm going to be honest about it. I'm just going to throw it out there. I was so freaking hungover from Saturday and exhausted from driving back from New York City that uh, I just I just vegged all day, and I did a lot of just medial bullshit tasks in the game. Um, to drive, I mean, I live in New York, which people think is always a city, which it's not. I live in uh, upstate New York, and it's about a two-and-a-half-hour, three-hour drive to... Uh, get back to from New York City to Albany which is where I'm which is where I'm from so uh where am I going we are going to get uh I gave I when I was clearing up the jungle for the uh arena I gave a bunch of the wood to JT cuz I had so much I I ran out of room in my chests now I'm making a bunch of trap doors for uh, um now I'm making <laughs> now I'm making a bunch of trap doors for the Ice runway track thingy ma bobber to uh you know so we can get out there quicker and I'm just I blew, I blew through wood like it was nothing. And that's almost done. That's gonna come to a close. Hopefully I'll be able to wrap that up tomorrow. But I figured we'd come out here, I could give you guys a quick uh just you know, we, this is their derp track. I'm not a fan of this. I mean, you know, you know, you get up start to you get seized, going to a seizure just by freaking riding this thing. But um yeah, we're going out to their uh, JTM Elman's castle, which they've been working on, to uh, grab that jungle wood I gave him. He says he doesn't need it, which I understand. I'm not a big fan of building with it. JT's all alone. Nobody wants to get on Skype and chat with him. Really can't blame us. He's, you know, kind of a dick for, uh, you know, he's, he's just JT. Total douche. <laughs> but, um... Nope, there goes our safe. Uh, Iron Man 3 trailer came out today, guys. If uh, I'll tr Like always, I'll try to put a link in the description. But if not, just type in Iron Man 3 trailer on on YouTube and it'll pop up. It looks good. Um, I was a huge fan of the second one. A lot of people had gripes. I like the political angle that it took. You know, with It makes sense. It's, it's kind of how this, this world is right now. So I think it was really good. I hope they can do a... a a really good job with the third one because it looks good but you never know you really don't not until you go see it i'm just surprised the trailer came out for that kind of that, that caught me off guard that was surprising man this good thing they did put a derp track down this takes forever to get out there jesus christ that ice track is i've been working on that non-stop in this game probably for i would say 12 hours played which that's a lot that's a long time for me to be working on one like just over and over repeating task so i can't that's almost that should be done soon like i said which is great and then what else we gotta do for 1.4 prep um i do want to jump out to the fortress and help out with the half slabbing because i do want to get um a bunch of wither skulls quick so we can uh take that bastard down we have a we have a planned out for saturday to uh fight the wither skeleton or the wither uh the wither if you will that's hopefully we all have at least three skulls combined, but you never know. I'd like to pull uh, one of the beacons. Obviously, I'm not. Gonna, if somebody brings their own skulls, I'm not going to force them to do anything with them. But it'd be nice to be able to put those uh, in the nice. It'd be nice to have enough for myself to at least put one in the uh, village. Now this is their. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is a cool idea. This is actually a map of their island, like a giant map, which I thought was really cool. Um... Yeah, so they, they made this, and then they got this uh, storage room over here, which is where we're going to go. Where is the hole? There's a hole here for us to drop down. I can't see because of the glass. There we go. All right, now we need the wood. Jungle wood. Here we go. Awesome. We're going to take it all. Because we need it all. And then, uh, just so refill their little 
chest here. And then maybe give him another half stack, just so we're not leaving completely dry. Awesome. I appreciate it, guys. Now you got to end a pearl up. I love these things. A little ender vader. Yeah, let's just let's pop our head out here and just like, give them a, give them a quick look. They haven't really done much. These two both like to work on community projects, so they're pretty good about. They go and do that a lot, so they miss uh, a lot of opportunities to do their own builds here. But they, you know, they're benefiting the community, which is really nice of them. This is their uh, castle. Beginning of it, it's like their courtyard area. This is my little uh. My home away from home, I come out here and I kick it old school. I get they gave me a pig pen to sleep in. I like to hang out here, you know, I got a little my little area. My home away from home. Hmm. Wonder if JT's out here. Oh, this is new. A little walkway here. Cool. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, they got this wall up. Oh cool, they've been making progress. That's good. Towers. Yeah, it's a, it's a work of progress for them. Uh, I'm just telling you guys right now, I, when we get out to the new continent for 1.4, I will be starting a castle. Um, it probably won't be for a couple weeks out because I do want to, uh, I do want to make it, I want to plan it out really well. Like I want to, I'm going to get a piece of paper. I'm going to sketch out how I want everything to look. Um, not really as much for the look of it as much as for the functionality of it. Like, I, oh shit, button, all right. So, we're gonna make sure we do that right. You know, I wanna, it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. I'm, I'm actually, I think it's gonna be really cool looking. It's gonna be big, I want it to be big. Like, I want it to be a project that, the, pr the problem right now I have with, uh, I hope you can't hear that siren. If you can, I'm sorry, I live near a fire, fire, fire station. The problem I have right now is I feel like I'm compelled to record every time I'm building something, which is fine. I don't mind it. I really don't. But I do like the fact that I can just jump on and like maybe build a castle wall. What the hell is this? Oh, uh, so you chop it all down. Oh, okay, I see what you do. You run down here, you chop, and then you hit the button, I guess, and water pushes it down. But I do like the idea of being able to just jump on and, you know, working on a castle wall without feeling like I need to record. Because obviously I'm not going to do that all the time. That would just be boring as hell. So I guess, uh, I know I'm jumping around topics here. I guess there is a tree farm out here that Melman, <laughs> there he is. Let's see if we can jump him. <laughs> I guess there's a tree farm out here that Melman, uh, blew up. And I guess this was probably it. Is this the scene of the, scene of the crime? Mm. Yep, this is the. I guess I. It was funny because right before Melman blew it up, he was like bitching at JT for saying YOLO. <laughs> and apparently, Melman put down TNT by accident for whatever reason. Oh shit. Whoops. And, uh. Blew up the whole entire. Blew up his tree farm, so. That was pretty funny. JT was all bent out of shape about it. Alright, let's head out of here. Get back to, uh. The hub. Yeah, so I guess they, they're pushing back because they, they fixed the uh, the glitch where the cows are suffocating. So I guess 1.4 official release won't be coming out until... Oh, this way actually. Won't be coming out until um, Thursday morning now. Which is not bad because tomorrow I can... That's going to need some time to finish shit up. I'm not too bummed out about that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back. I'm not going to make you watch me run down the track again. And, uh, yeah, so I'll be back momentarily, guys. Yeah, so a little bit of a side detour here. Um, I'm having trouble figuring out what I want to do with this room. Um, let me explain why here. Wow, Jesus, like, pit. Yeah, he's doing a good job half sliding because all these pigmen are spawning here. Um, let me drop off some of this crap. Yeah, get these chests in care of. By the way, these are glitched. I don't know, like, this one is real, I think. No, these two are real. This one's glitched. I don't know how it happens, but they just glitch in. Um, I'm having trouble figuring this out. Any ideas would be good. I'm gonna half slab it, obviously, because I can't have these pigments spawning in here. I definitely think I want to still put the, uh, netherwort farm down here. But the problem with this is, like, I don't, I don't know if I should spend too much time on, uh, 
doing this up because when you're like riding in, you get to see it for like a split second, and then you're up here. Oh, that didn't work. Let me try that again. I need to get a good enough running start. Go. Onward! Nope, get out of the way. Get out of the way, thank you. And you come up here, and then you really can't see much. I guess you can see enough. Maybe a nice little floor design or something like that, but what I'll probably end up doing is going the whole, uh, um, pillar way. Maybe it arches. Maybe curved arches. Where they, like, start here, and they go, they curve inwards, and they curve back out. Those look kind of cool, I guess. It'd be different. But yeah, just wanted to, uh, stop there for a moment. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna head out to the, uh, do I have enough on that pick? That should be enough for a round. We're gonna head out to the ice tray and we're going to get more ice and then uh make some trap doors and then we're gonna go work on the uh the road a little bit today's kind of a not one of the more exciting days i'm not gonna lie but uh that's how it's gonna be unfortunately for today i'm kind of behind on things and i need to get them done get them done start watching uh hell on wheels I don't know if anybody's watched that yet. It's an AMC show. I've been catching up with it on Netflix. It's pretty good so far. Um, I'm only a couple episodes in, so I, you know, I try to give a show every show at least a full, uh, a full oh, crap. It's not frozen over. I try, I try to give a show a full season, just to uh, give it the benefit of the doubt. But this show seems like it's definitely uh, doable for a long-term show. So I definitely recommend you guys check that out as well. That's that's uh, Joe's TV pick of the week. So do it. Stop watching my video now and go do it. Thank you. All right, I'm going to work on this. Um, wait for the ice tray to freeze a little bit, grab some of that, and I will be right back. While uh, we wait for the ice tray to freeze, ice tray to freeze over, Figure out, uh, maybe, you know, update you on some of the houses in the village here. This is definitely a scattered-ass episode, so, uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy it. I think this is where we're gonna put the beacon. When we do get it, we'll put it, it's kind of, like, dead center. Uh, maybe build, I wanna build, like, a, like a, uh, like a nice, like, a epic-looking pavilion, if you will. Like, really fancy. Um, a place to put our dragon egg. Maybe some wither skulls just to decorate. You know, if we get it, obviously, you know, at the beginning they're gonna be a rare commodity, so that probably won't happen right off the bat. Then we'll have the beam of light shooting up in the air, which will look pretty cool. So we'll probably do that. I want to show you Melman's house over here. He uh he tore down his uh, windmill and built this, which I think is amazing looking. Um, it's supposed to be like a, it's got like the the shit, the water mill wheel here thing. It's kind of the way it's supposed to be going there. And he, uh, we could let him build the river like this a little, even put a bridge over it to connect the roads. Oh, over here. This is his house, which I think he did a good job on. It just, I, I like the, the dark wood with the white, the snow blocks. By the way, I use snow blocks first. I'm kind of the hipster, you know? So everybody, I did it before everybody else thought it was cool. Just, just saying. And then, uh, oh, gotta give him the, uh, the, one of those jobbers. And then, uh, yeah, staircase going upward here. I think he did a really good job with it. I like the way it came out. Yeah, he does a good job. He's definitely he's definitely up there with top builders that I've ever played with. And you got JT's little uh, little colonial shack there next to that. What else have we got? This is Ty's. Ty is a person we don't see much on the server. He plays uh when a lot of us are off on like a, when we're, we're all he plays around, you know, nighttime, my time, and I'm not on because I'm at work. But that's his house. I wish Ty we see Ty more, especially like PvP events. It'd be nice to play with him a little bit. Over here we have Tao's garden. I think we've seen that before. It's pretty cool. Pretty, uh, I like the way it, it works well with the village. It gives us something other than just houses all over the place. Here's damage in his little humble abode. Let's see if we can scare him. That's broken. <laughs> He's not having it. 
put on here. Um, just a lot of randomness, which basically sums up DP. <laughs> Probably just wonder what the hell we're doing. Nice place though. And then we got, uh, what do we got out here? Just the arena still, which needs more work. Needs a load. Load! You see, God, we, we did a good job on all these tunnels. <laughs> They're all pretty well lit up. There we go. Still gotta work on that at some point. That's, ugh. I still dread working on it, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, so that's kind of the uh, village in a nutshell. Oh, over here we have Alex's joint. Yeah, if you're not watching the adventure map series, it's getting a lot of, it's honestly, it's getting more, it's better reviews than I thought I was going to get. People are, uh, a lot of people. It seems I'm not alone, Bart. I'm not sure what he means. Um, I definitely appreciate the compliment, though. Here's Alex. This is a, this is not the dragon egg. This is a, a glitched one from when we had that issue with all the dragons all over the place. So that, do, that doesn't count. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, if you're not watching the Adventure Map series, I'm hearing that people enjoy it. I don't understand why people enjoy it. <laughs> I think it's a total shit show. But uh, if I would give it a try, you know, we had a we just recorded some more yesterday. We had a special guest join us uh, for the uh, recording session. We enjoyed him being there. I'll let I'll let you guys you know guess on who it was, and I'll tell you right now, it's not somebody from the server. If you uh, read the comments, you'll 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 get it. That's my only hint I'm giving you. But definitely check that out. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit longer. And uh, I will be right back. All right, we're back. Now, this is, for people that aren't aware of this, um, this is, this is going to be the tunnel to the new continent, which nobody's allowed to go out to until... Uh, 1.4 comes out. It's not like it's don't do it or you're but it's just it's like, you know, it's a common courtesy. Don't load any chunks out there. There's only there's already been a couple loaded from when I made the uh the portal. But um these are this is how this works. Basically it's ice with uh trap doors on it, okay? And then you just you run. You can also take a speed pot with this, so it goes faster. I don't have any on me. And you start you probably can hear it, unfortunately. And that's a probably the pain in the ass part. It makes a lot of noise, but you get this you know whale on your space bar here. And then you can uh, just fly through like this. Now this is very long. It goes all the way out to like 37,000 X or something like that. And then it turns for another couple hundred blocks. So I'm not going to have you watch this. But I want to show this to people that aren't aware of it. Or how it works. It's probably the fastest way of uh, tra fastest way of getting around in the game. Um, definitely gives your, arm a, your forearm a little bit of a workout too. But uh, yeah, so. Okay, I just want to show you this. We're going to get to the end. And I'm going to you know, show you guys the uh, other end of the portal. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right, we are at the end of the, uh, the tunnel here. Here's the portal to the new world. I feel like Christopher Columbus. And there it is. That's the new world. That's a renders. <laughs> yep, so we're trying to, uh, you know, nobody's, nobody's going to come out here because we don't want to, uh, you know, render new tr chunks, but out there, get away from the port a little bit. Hopefully out there there's villages with carrots and potatoes in our future and all types of awesomeness that's going to be built on. Castle's going to be built out here. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited to explore this new world, and I'll be doing that hopefully Thursday. <laughs> all right, guys, so I'm going to leave you here. Um, hope you enjoyed this kind of non-conventional episode for me. I usually don't do these type of episodes. I usually like to have a something really interesting to do. I know this is a lot of me talking, so hopefully that offset the uh, boringness of riding on rail carts and waiting for ice to freeze and all that good crap. So until next time, guys, I appreciate everything. Uh, if you did hate this episode, please let me know and I won't do it again. <laughs> I promise. Alright, guys, I'll see you next time.